How's it going everybody? It's Christian out here with Eat Like Apex. This afternoon we are headed to Suruki Market, which is kind of like a Japanese market, but not just Japanese goods. They have all kinds of different Asian um, items as, as well there. But our objective of checking this place out is to take a look at some of the sushi, the sashimi, some of the things that they have in this market at a, at a quality scale. I believe this is a spot that has some quality fresh goods. I'm excited to try some of the food here at Suruki Market. Uh, we are just going to go ahead and head to the market right now in San Mateo, California, downtown San Mateo yet again. So with that said, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, hope you find time to subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And I'm gonna show you everything in this video right now. I think I do want to try one of these. This yeah. looks good. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Yellow tail. Oh. So already the selection here, as you can see here, just a number of different like fresh sushi, sashimi goods here inside of Suruki Market. And yeah, I don't like, it's hard for me to kind of choose because I kind of want everything. <laughs> What do you think so far? Love it. Good Love prices, it. <laughs> fresh food. So I picked up those raw oysters too. So. <laughs> Visiting the Suruki Market. Real quick, I just want to let you know that we stopped by uh, not too far from Suruki Market is a, a friends of ours spot, it's Aaron's Place actually, it's called Vitality Center, allowing us to be here in their center outdoors. Yeah, you can kind of see here just an outdoor setting, perfect for filming this and, and eating outdoors. So we got the food from Suruki Market and let me go ahead and just like Take some of these things out the bag right now. Tamago yaki, rolled omelet, salted salmon shio sake. Okay, next, fly spice salmon. Fresh oysters. Oh. Grass jelly drink. Spicy tuna roll. What's up, Aaron? There you are, where you at, where you at, there he is. Hey! hey. <laughs> hello, hello, yeah. hello! Yeah. Oh, okay. Soza, yeah. Spam Masubi. That is a Salmon okay. Onigirazu. Oh, last night on Craigslist. Wow, so kind of went to town here, good. that's totally fine. Um, yes. Yes. So Nigihama so Yellowtail with green onion. You know, it'll be... Like Rainbow poke, oh, salmon, like tuna, hamachi, taco. Like something like that. Yes. <laughs> Spicy tuna. Again, picked up the food from Shrika Market. And big thanks to Aaron who is right there, the pop genius himself. And we are just uh, going to be thoroughly um, enjoying some of the items that they have here. Hi, Brianna. 
We're gonna see Brianna. We saw Aaron earlier, and then Brianna's here too. Salmon onigurazu. Okay. You see that? Type of masubi. I'm gonna open this up right now. And okay. Where is she? Is she? Okay. Pop that open here. Take a look at that. Just that interior. Look at that cross section. That salmon. Let's just give that a bite right now. Okay. That looks amazing. Okay. And bite. With that nori seaweed wrap, mm -hmm. and then you have the so salmon. There's cabbage. I love that texture. Definitely reminds me of masubi. And that salmon, and a little bit of teriyaki sauce inside of there too. That gives it some flavor. But that's fantastic. Wow. That was the first bite here. Gotta move on to the next one here. This is the rainbow poke, and it's rainbow because of the different pieces of poke that it comes with. And you got salmon, tuna, hamachi, and taco. Oh, and then they have some seaweed as well. That looks fantastic. And I believe this is, might be like a spicy shoyu sauce. Maybe with some chili oil. Let me go ahead and try some of that salmon. Okay, let me go and dip that into that sauce first. All right, and bite. I don't want to turn you guys onto this other place. Oh wow, that was like ultra, like soft, like slightly creamy too, but it is like this fresh, you taste that quality of that salmon. Oh, it's cooling. Definitely a, <laughs> a staple in my appetite. Need to have it. Okay, going back for some more. That's the hamachi, and then you have the tuna, and the taco. Let me go ahead and try some of the hamachi. Take that hamachi, dip it into the shoyu, and bite. Oh yeah. Same idea. Just like soft and no, very delicate. I love it. I love how it just like just falls apart, melts your mouth, kind of. Yeah. Let me try the some of that tuna. Look at that. This is a pretty good chunk of tuna. Yeah. <laughs> Dunk that in there and bite. Oh. Same thing. Same idea. Everything. It's a texture thing too here. The texture of the salmon, the hamachi, and the tuna, but nice and fatty. Okay, it melts in your mouth. Last one here. It's the taco. Not like a hard shell taco, but taco. The octopus. Dip that into the sauce. All right, this should be good right there. And bite. Oh yeah. Mmm. Yeah, that's a more pronounced like texture, like rubbery, but not like a rubber that you that's off-putting. This is a rubber that you want. You kind of want to chew because every chew. You get like a that juicy taco, juicy octopus flavor just seeping into your very essence into your mouth. Yeah, get some of my greens. You gotta be, be sure to eat some of your greens. Some of that seaweed. Oh yeah. Mm. So I picked up a um, the salmon shioyaki. I'll go for this piece right here. Okay. Salted salmon shioyaki. Bite. Yeah, sometimes you kind of want to have the cooked version of fish too. It's been grilled, so you have that kind of like um, smoked fish like flavor. At the same time, not compromising its tenderness. It's still tender. That's pretty good. Take another bite. Yeah, I got kind of like a, a fatty piece on that, so that's a plus too. Yeah, I love how there's like these like fatty gelatin pieces in the fish because, yeah, not only do you have texture from the, the meat, but coupled with that like juicy fattiness for me. It gives it uh, an overall like delicious balance, in my opinion. We have the spicy tuna roll. So there's that spicy tuna roll. Yeah. Look at that. Now this is like, you could just tell that the quality and the sushi here, it's fresh. You just could tell just the way it looks. The presentation and just that glistening softness just poking out. Yeah, I will dip it into the sauce here, just a little bit. Okay, and bite. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. Tuna quality, man. Like melt in your mouth, creamy. Yeah, that sweet rice wrap with the nori seaweed that contains that the fresh rawness of the, the spicy tuna, that is ultimate. And then they don't compromise either on the spiciness. You want your spicy tuna? Yeah, that is like packed. That is packed with that spicy tuna. 
Nigihama, Yellowtail. Yeah, you just know that they prepare these sushi with skill and precision. The Yellowtail with the green onion. Nigihama, wasabi on here. Okay, just like right on top. I think that looks, that should be good right there. Okay. Oh, oh, they kind of drip, but that's okay, that's okay. And bite. Yeah, that sauce right here. Definitely excellent sauce. You can have it by itself too if you want to, but I much like it with that chili, like a chili sauce type, you know, there's soy sauce and chili oil, and then you have, I couple it with the wasabi as well. Same idea, the quality of the fish here is superb. At fairly reasonable, reasonable prices too, if, if I can say so. This is another exciting one I wanna try. The fresh oysters. I seen them plate this, or not plate this, I seen them put it onto the aisle, and I was like, I gotta have, gotta have one of those. Let me go for that large, large one right here. Check that out. Oh, that is like massive. Put some lemon. All right, and bite, or slurp. And that's why we have to defend from, from, and, 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 and what mm. makes it so, oh wow my, my Trump supporter friends wow that is like from the shell America. like you taste the ocean the freshness the quality from that shellfish yeah. that oyster wow yeah. like a natural aphrodisiac yeah. taste the ocean in that that's for sure wow pretty big piece of oyster so you got some texture from that as well five spice salmon here we go and again, this might be similar to the uh, salmon shiwaki I had earlier, but this is uh, another version, the five spice salmon. So let me pull that right here. Take a look at that. And bite. Mm. No, there's all kinds of spicy flavors in there. Not like a hot spicy, it's like a peppery spicy. I put my box. I'll be careful with the bones though. Yeah, one of those things where you can just snack on these here. This one definitely brings on that like five spice ingredient, that five spice factor. Contrary to the, the boniness of it, you actually get a, a fair amount of meat. Yeah, that's good too. Maybe I saved this last on purpose because I am just like thrilled to have this. This is the spicy tuna, bouquet style. Chunky cubes of that tuna, that spicy tuna, layered with the, the seasoning, that spiciness, uh, and maybe some, some shoyu too, maybe some soy sauce. And look how just it glistens and shines. Yeah, that is fantastic. I'm not even gonna have it with sauce, just by itself. Just, just as is, just like this, man. That is poster right there. Poster caliber. And bite. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't need any soy sauce. This is just like, as is, as good as you can get it. Yeah, love it. It's just like melts in your mouth. The texture, it's so soft and delicate. It's like biting into a, like a umami jello or something. Okay, another bite. Mm. Yeah, so check it out. Gonna go ahead and work on some of the food here and I enjoy some time just kind of hanging out. Just wanna go ahead and conclude this video of Suruki Market. The market food, the market like feast. You guys, if you're ever in San Mateo, do stop by Street Market, give it a try. Take a look at some of their, their fresh goods there. And that'll do it here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate that. Peace out, one love late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later.